welcome back to the Supercoach Nuff channel. Uh, in this video, we're going to do the round four preview for Supercoach NBL. Um, so, um, 366 points for the, the round, which is top 11%. We'll take that. Um, our season rank continuing to push upwards, which is nice. We're now uh, inside the top 4,000. So uh, things are going along pretty well, I think. But uh, we'll have a look at the team. Um, uh, we'll come back to that. <laughs> so uh, I guess the uh, the team and how it went. Uh, so Travers was our VC with 41. Um, so that's a solid score. Galloway with 53 has been really good. Um, the other Galloway that we brought in is probably not so... Uh, successful at the moment, but that's fine. Uh, Albrecht, you know, as a cheap option, is just ticking along. Huck Porty and Saar doing the business for us in the centres with 45 each. Uh, Milton Doyle, our captain, so 62. I'm guessing that was the pre-doubled score. So if that's the case, we did pick the right captain. Plus 62 points in just one game, that's insane. 65, 62, back to back. Great choice. Uh, Valentine with a 40 uh, and actually dipped in price. That's interesting. Um, Del of Dover, 37, but looks like he's injured with concussion, so we'll miss at least a week. Um, and McDaniel with a 22. So uh, just have a quick look at most traded out, most traded in. So Valentine, I guess people not want to lose the cash getting out of that pick. Dolva Dover, obviously being injured, makes sense. Uh, McDaniel, I think that's a bit harsh. He's made some good money, break even of 22. Uh, maybe Bullets, yeah, they only play once this week, so I suppose. Doyle, that's interesting. Of, you know, I guess Tasmania does only play once, but he scored 60 points in the last two games. So that sort of doesn't suggest to me that uh, it's a sell. And uh, Kieran Galloway, so a lot of people not very happy with the four, but I think that's fine. So, uh, traded in options. Jackson Cartwright, so from New Zealand there, back from their little US trip. I think Cairns has one more week, so there'll be definitely some Cairns players getting traded in. Flowers, so I think we traded him out last week, and he actually went well, so he's reset his score. Might be coming back in. Goulding, another one we traded out. Uh, did all right with 53. Uh, and Gary Brown. Cool. So I guess if we're, we're following the crowd a bit, we're looking to get out of Dolliver Dover and Valentine. And we might even just slide Travers in there just so we can have a look at a couple of different positions. So round three, Bolden, so another one we we uh, binned off early in the year. His break even must be all right. Negative six, we could get on a bit of Jonah Bolden. Bryce Cotton scoring well, but obviously need the money to get to him. What's his break even like? 49, his price isn't really going anywhere. Hmm. So what's, they're all guards, is it? Where's the forwards at? Well, I guess Bolden's a forward option. <clears throat> Lots of guards. Gary Clark. Should have actually looked who had the, the double game weeks before we commit to this. So <laughs> only uh, six games. So Southeast Melbourne would be one and Melbourne the other. So I guess we're targeting those teams, but also looking at likes of uh, Jackson Cartwright, who uh, could be a good chance of um, of uh, starting to score well, given New Zealand will uh, have to catch up a couple of games. Uh, so, uh, any of these guys from South Southeast Melbourne? Cummins, so he's scored well, but uh, not so much last week. Go back to uh, points scored. Hmm. 
Hmm. Right, well, let's just go straight to break evens. Maybe we'll just try to make some money. So, Clintman's the uh, the highest break even or lowest break even, I suppose, with negative 27. Cartwright, so he's a guard. We'll get him in, we'll get Bolden in. Um, is there anyone else we really want that's cheap? And we're going to make a lot of money. Maybe not. Do we find a spot for flowers, maybe? Mm. Uh, we can leave that one, I think. Just realised I left the door open and the winds were going, so apologies if that audio goes to... Um, <laughs> Alright, let's just do that. We'll run the two trades. We'll, we'll try to keep a couple of trade boosts. So, yeah, so that's, I guess, the trades in terms of the team. Um, I think Huck Porty and Trave has been on double game week means we've got to target that. So, uh, probably go in that order. Um, Doyle's a keeper for sure at the, that position. Um, yeah, so we can't really get anyone from forward to guard. That's okay. I think we'll just leave the team as it is. Uh, that starting five looks pretty solid. And, uh, yeah, I guess we should also look at the, the league. Um, I think the first round of that kicked off on uh, last week. Oh, hang on, I just realised that's the table. So, me Muse did pretty well by the looks of it. So, 425 points scored, 293 against. We should have a look at the actual uh, game day results. So I was defeated by demonking YouTube, I'm guessing that is. So where did we go different? So I had Galloway on field. I apparently didn't. Oh, no, that's me, sorry. <laughs> so, so he had Sobi who crushed it with the 65. Um, that's the difference, I think. Yeah, so 10 points there. A few points with the bench, Henschel over Galloway. So it was pretty close, but uh, well done. So here we go, Miemis. Let's see who they were running. No, that's done something weird. There we go. Uh, not even going to try to work out what that's supposed to be <laughs> against Miemis, but uh, had Adams. So Goran 70, so double that, nice. So yeah, it's Obi as well, cool. A couple of people know what's up. Yeah, so I guess Captain only getting 40 was a bit flat. Who else? Cotton's Cons, I like that name, that's a good one. I'm going to stuff that up throughout the season, no doubt. Uh, defeating Woozy's V, or Woozy's 5 maybe. That's uh, Roman numerals there for you. <laughs> uh, cool. So Sobi looks pretty popular. Maybe we have to look at getting him in. Only in 10% of teams, but some uh, pretty smart coaches in this group by the look of it. And the one-eyed eagle defeated by ball handlers. So a couple of solid names there too. Uh, Cool. So yeah, lots of lots of similar sort of players throughout. Robinson, I've uh, obviously not caught on to, but that's fine because he didn't do that great. <laughs> cool. So um, I think that's a that about covers it for another week. Just quickly go back to my team. Last minute review. Cool. So, uh, yeah, as always, if you have any thoughts or questions, um, not that I'm the right person to ask, but maybe someone else watching the video is, uh, feel free to throw them down in the comment section below this video. 
Uh, if you do enjoy the content, please remember to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel for the, all the other fantasy content. And other than that, I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.